what's up family welcome back to the channel thank y'all for being here so you see i'm sitting outside of this dollar tree um that fedex truck just pulled up i'm sure with the size of that truck they're not getting a lot of whatever so i haven't been in here since the beginning of december and i think i'm gonna come back in two more days today is wednesday i can't remember but today is wednesday i'll put the date in so i'm about to go in here see what's going on and i want to try to keep track and come back more than i have been that way i can see if they've gotten a truck or not let's get into the store see what's going on and like I said, I'm going to try to keep you guys in the know of this particular store um, because this is the closest one to me and it's 30 minutes away. Okay. No, 30 minutes. <sighs> it's a lot being here in North Carolina. Welcome to the channel though, y'all. I appreciate y'all being here. Um, so let's get into the store. I'm going to try to make it a quick walk through that way. When I do the next video, it'll be a back-to-back -back thing that you're looking at to see if it's gotten any better or if it's getting worse, okay? You understand what I'm saying? I'm trying to keep track of it. So, yeah, let's go. Don't forget to hit the like button. It helps the channel. It tells YouTube, push this video out to more and more people so that they, too, can be informed as to what is going on, why it's going on. And we all know, and if you don't know why it's going on, it all started with the cargo ship being stuck in the Suez Canal, okay? And then it all started back to back. It was that. Actually, it was the pan. It was the pandemic. Then it was the Suez Canal uh, container ship being stuck. Then it's all the container ships not being able to unload, and it just goes on and on and on. So let's get into the video, guys. Start hours Monday through Thursday, 10 to 7, Friday, Saturday, 9 to 9, Sunday. And of course, they are hiring. So you see, they do have a few Valentine things out. Um, they're starting to put spring things out. These are trellises. So y'all, if you plan on gardening, and I hope you are, start looking for those things now. They got some trowels in here. They even have the little rake here and some gloves. Also, I have some of these. I haven't seen these in here. Let's get gardening, y'all. We gotta grow our food. We gotta grow. They also have some containers to put your water in to water your vegetables and fruits. They have these out already. You can grow in these, and these are stackables. You just do them like this, and you just grow, grow, grow. They even have these right here, and they have the little clay ones as well. It just looks really empty in here. These are all the candles that they have. These are all the dog treats that they have. They really don't have anything in here. Not even the bowls and stuff. They only have a little bit of stuff up. like they're getting smaller and smaller. Look at that. It's the frozen section.
So this is the food section, but this is all party stuff. It's not even food to go up. is a cereal a couple of these little bags of cereal granola hardly any coffee pop tarts I don't see any of that uh, shelf stable milk they hardly have they have one box of pasta right there and then a little bit of a couple of jars of sauce and a couple of jars of, well, there's some spaghetti right there, but they only have that with the noodles. This is the canned goods. That's all they have. We do have a good bit of batteries, so that is a plus. Going down here, there's hardly anything on these shelves. This is the baking area, aluminum foil, plastic wrap, baking tins. They have none but this. Um, then over on this side, they have a little bit of glassware. This is crazy. Absolutely insane. Here's some seasonings. They do have some salt and ground cumin and some other stuff. This is all the ketchup that they have. They have some spicy brown mustard, yellow mustard, some ketchup at the bottom, a couple of bottles, a little bit of a barbecue sauce and salad dressing. Yeah, this is crazy. They got toilet paper. That's good. Some paper towels. It's a little bit of cleaning items over here. Paper plates. Some napkins. Sponges and cleaning gloves so that's good here's all the bowls that they have containers all these right here these little party spoons um here's a tip you can use these when you're labeling your plants and your starts and stuff instead of going out and buying those expensive tags and whatnot to put in there my mother-in-law uses these spoons right here. They work just great with the marker. So, I'm about to get out of here. Cause this place looks so bare. <laughs> 